So, by now, I think a lot of people has already read Waypoint. I, I skimmed it a bit, but, you know, I didn't, you know, read 100%. But, so, when I woke up, you know, quite a bit ago, whatever, uh, I was watching uh, Kevin Cool's video, because I like watching his videos versus uh, <laughs> a Halo follower, you know, but because of you know how much in-depth information goes that he looks through and such um i didn't finish the video yet but let's just say you know i was watching the part of saying that season eight will be the last season of mcc and i'm kind of disappointed because of before if it releases because here's what i'm gonna say i'm kind of disappointed uh while you're seeing in this video right now i'm showing off why you know i'm kind of disappointed right now to where um season eight will be the last season and why i'm really disappointed in that so in this whole thing i'm showing off like what game has the most content right now and what i'm just kind of disappointed with and the fact is that halo 3 including season 8 that's coming up is going to have a lot of Halo 3 content of new armor pieces, mostly, and skins, you know, and it's, and it, it just kind of sucks, you know, you know there's going to be some pieces that's going to be in 3, uh, that's going to be in Reach, but he, here's why I say it sucks so bad, because 343 only put in all this dedication and time just to do mostly a lot of cosmetics, and armor pieces literally for Halo 3 only and it, it's kind of stupid you know and look and you'll see in this video how many seasons literally has Halo 3 icon over it the only season you're not gonna see having is season 8 and season 8 there is a lot of Halo 3 content only and you're only going to see one full season that was literally for Halo Reach because, you know, that was the whole start of MCC being on, getting on a PC. And then you're going to see one whole season that was only straight up for Halo 1. And that's it. That's the, that's the only thing you're going to see because otherwise all the other seasons are mostly mixed Mac with uh, Halo 3 and... ODST and I think one was like just straight up Halo 3 only if I recall but I could be wrong but yeah but very little extra customizations went to Halo Reach and in Halo 4 which Halo 4 was some being from its DLCs which I didn't mind but here's where I'm just gonna say it, it just kind of sucks which I could say it right and when it gets to the point of you know, of the whole thing showing off, like, which games don't have these fun functions. And, but I could say it right now, too. Well, I could say it later. But I, I'm just really disappointed. And I did post it on, you know, 343's official Discord server for saying, you know, what my thoughts are two times, actually, which... The, which when it gets to that one other clip it's later in this video um, it's going to show when I, when it was on the web on both Waypoint and Discord on the Waypoint though on one post I put on there as my gamer tag is what states up there um, I don't care if this violates me to not being in Halo Insiders uh, next infinite flight you know as I don't want to create all these issues but I'm just stating this as a fact I, it's kind of annoying that only one game mostly gets all this content when you also got two other games as well that gotten content to of having all these cool stuff you know mostly mostly two games that had all these cool stuff which is ranging from vehicle skins weapon skins new visor colors like I don't really care about new armor pieces I just want those three for each game the visor color the weapon skins and the vehicle skins for all games across the board because what's the point it's I, I find it so stupid and a lot of my friends actually thought like you know Halo 2 classic and anniversary uh, had these features and I'm like no they don't and it kind of ruined their hearts there because they were really hoping 
really hoping that all these all the games had that feature at least you know as season one track record here season one didn't end till like four or five months after no five or six months after release when it came out on pc because of covid so then you know season two came around then all of a sudden like what two months two almost three months something like that mostly two months um then all the seasons like around two months mostly so you had like literally two months just to try to get all your season challenges done and such just to get all the seasonal content of course now they're putting it into the exchange which i didn't show that the exchange but yeah, it's just annoying you know it's, it's just annoying like why put all this dedication and time to one game like probably because this game used to be the king back in the day when that was 2007 2007 2008 it was back in the day it was king look i'm gonna tell you something halo 3 is not the king no more i like it's not even the king of big team battles at all including all the other games because of the damn aim assist which they can't disable when it's big team battle when you're in a vehicle because it's so stupid now because like when you shot and you hit someone and you know you hit them they somehow survive the shot and I don't like that like they need to turn aim assist off they really knew like I, I'd rather have aim assist only in PvE but PvP no aim assist because I'll tell you what because I used to love playing the hell out of vehicle combating only and when I was on turret duty at times, which I rather do with friends, um, you can't even turn fast in the turret. You can't even turn fast at all in the vehicles. Like, in even the old school games that's in MCC. Because I bet you in original, you could turn as fast as you want on both controller and keyboard. But, nothing to knick-knack and I uh, might as well put like the suffering music of the sadness you know because it, it, it's so stupid and I love and you're gonna love what 343 stated to me of sketch of what he said I was like so and I'm like why did you just bother put all the time in this game then like you shouldn't put all the time in that game at all you should have put other times into the other games delivered in these cosmetic changes. Anyways, I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna let you watch and you know see what I mean by only Halo 3 mostly has all these customizations and what game also has these customization features. All right, so I'll be back to chit chat when it's getting near the end.
So you'll be seeing here that uh you know what which games don't have these cool features like Halo 4 Halo 4 doesn't have the vehicle skins. Um Halo 2 here, Halo 2 Classic and Anniversary don't even have visor colors, uh weapon skins and vehicle skins. Like just make them only for multiplayer only, you know, because it's cosmetic. And Halo Reach don't even have weapon skins and vehicle skins like yeah, it has like five visors, but you know, they're more cool to have some more visors for, for each, you know, as you know, the only games they 343 only cares about is Halo 3. And like I said before, apparently, I guess people are saying, oh, because Halo 3 is the most favorite. I'll tell you what, the other day I was playing with a good friend and he said Halo 3 is not even the most favorite because of uh, all the grenade festing and the aim assist and how slow the vehicles are turning in on the turrets you know and how the aim assist is really you know being crappy on the vehicles to where it, it just makes it unfun you know especially if you really want to have a good battle especially with wraith motors motors right it it's it's stupid like I'm not really a big fan of aim assist unless it's PvE, but here's the waypoint, and you could pause this anytime you want just to read all this. This is like a month ago, if I recalled. And honestly, it, it's it's a big disappointing. It's a real big disappointing, and I don't care if 343 is against this. It's a real big disappointing. Is I don't want to have a full-fledged game that literally only focus customization options mainly for one game of giving all the new stuff just to one game and where even like even though I should say literally like two games actually has full customizations of new stuff to where reach actually introduced to making sure that Halo 4 Halo 2 anniversary and reach itself and 3 would not have, you know, preset customizations to where now we can do our individual piece changings again. Um, but yeah, let's just say 
you know, I just I just don't like MCC at this stage now, to where only these games only have the customization options of all these cool cosmetics, to where it's visor colors, weapon skins, and vehicle. And I honestly love to see at least one more season in MCC to giving this stuff like please work on these don't work on halo 3 only because i'm gonna hate infinite if infinite's just gonna mostly focus on all the armor pieces that just made its way into three into halo infinite from three and slash online because then that's gonna be a hell of annoying because i love to see when it comes to infinite i'd rather see all these cool customizations that that is from like you know maybe from movies that was in the halo from both cartoon or real life or hell even comic books I never read bo the books um even like the craziest ideas the communities can come up with um for weapon skins armor skins um vehicle skins visors for infinite itself and who knows, maybe have some really good sculptors making like really cool armor pieces, maybe. You know, that, you know, gives an idea to bring into Infinite. You know, even though I'd rather have, you know, the whole Halo series armor sets make its way in. Meaning from 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Whether you, and ODST, whether you like those or not. Like, I would like to make its, them to make its way in. You know, and whatever and but it just sucks it sucks only on mcc it's only focusing on just one game mostly on content providing and i'd rather have a season nine to where 343 spends their hardest times working on the hardest games i don't care if it's 50 things unlocked or it's a hundred in the season to where you know we got stuff focusing for halo 2 halo reach and in halo 4 of those missing cosmetic features meaning weapon skins vehicle skins and visor colors but only for the certain games which definitely halo 2 classic and anniversary needs the visor colors needs the weapon skins and needs the vehicle halo reach de definitely needs vehicle skins and weapon skins and halo 4 definitely needs vehicle skins like, and this is all honesty opinion. And and they want to consider, oh, the people who want that are the minorities. I'm like, fuck you, we're not the minorities. We're part of the Halo. Uh, and Halo series. We're part of the game that, especially that we grew up our childhood. Hell, I grew up with this game since early 2000s. And here's what I stated in the Discord recently making this video. Um... And this is what the sketch said, and what everyone else said. You know, just in case you need proof. But yeah, so but feel free to like, share, comment, share this to all your friends and to all the communities you're in, and see what they say. And to, and if they want, to comment on this video. Let them know what they said. I would really love three four three to just do one more season before they stop working on it to focus on infinite. Just to give us this content. Just please. Alright. Thank you.